But first at 10 o'clock, it's an end of an era for one metro area shop. The Riverside Red X was a grocery and liquor store. Also served as a tourist attraction for its massive antiques. KSHB 41 News reporter Caroline Hogan shares the voice of the person behind the decision to sell. At the new Red X in Riverside, you can still see a lot of Ed Young's antiques that he's been collecting throughout the years. But a lot of people remember when you could see all of them here. But now everything's got to go. It's to the point, you know, there's just so much. Zeke Young is auctioning off his father's collection. The way his collecting started, he got mom an anniversary gift of a bell, and then it just expanded from there. The bells are a big part of the auction, but there's also bronze statues, crystal, and unique pieces of Kansas City history. This was in uh, Fairyland Park. There was an amusement park in Kansas City. That was like on the top of trash cans. Like the dining room set. It was from the R.A. Long Mansion, the Longview Farm. And this was set from like 1910, 1912. Rick Pence is the auctioneer. He's certain everything will sell. People have come in and looked at this stuff for years and hadn't been for sale. It attracts a lot of people who maybe wouldn't be interested in it, but it was part of Kansas City and Riverside history, so they wanted a piece of it. Going through with the sale doesn't mean it's not hard for Zeke, closing this chapter of his life. We've been here uh, 75 years, and a lot of people, you know, it, it's hard for them even, too. You know, and then just to think what the, ha will happen to the store later on, too. But he believes he has his father's approval, knowing that his treasures are going to people that love collecting just as much as he did. Some other people can enjoy some of the things that dad enjoyed. Caroline Hogan, KSHB 41 News.